Mr. Fatah, the ranking member of the Commerce, Justice, and Science Subcommittee. Gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentlelady. Uh, we are here because the President of the United States has requested an emergency supplemental appropriations of about $3.7 billion. The Senate has acted uh, in the range of about $2.7 the House now comes with one-sixth of the requests to deal with this crisis. It ignores the wildfires in the West, the challenges that uh, relate to uh, other parts of the bill that were presented by the administration, and it says we're acting responsibly. I rise in opposition of the bill. I understand the, what the majority is offering. And I think it's been stated pretty clearly. I believe if we have children who are presented to us without adults, who have been the victims of trafficking, which is what the majority has said, they've been trafficked by cartels and, and, and paid um, criminal enterprises to bring them to our border. The majority says some of them have been sexually abused and mistreated in other ways. I don't believe that our response should be to close the door. So as we think about our responsibilities as the United States of America, a nation that had 12 million people without documents when the president was sworn into office, 50,000 children, just like the five-year-old girl that my colleague said he met and talked to, the idea that what our moral responsibility is, is to say to her, you go back to where you came from. I don't believe that that's what we should be doing. And so I, I reject this, not because of the numbers or the other things. I think this is morally deficient, that our great country would say, as we demand other countries around the world, that they take in refugees who are facing dangerous circumstances, that what our answer is, is no, not here, not in our backyard. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Kentucky is.